So your product or service is doing great and you've collected a bunch of customer testimonials for your landing pages. Wonderful, but try to avoid these three common testimonial mistakes I encounter every day. Mistake number one is adding every single one of your customer testimonials. Not all testimonials are equal. Remove low value generic statements like, I enjoyed the product and rather extract the gems, highlighting your features or answering potential doubts the visitor could have. So compare the service was awesome to impressive 48 hour turnaround time. Compare my new favorite energy bar to the caffeine bar boosts me at least another 10 miles. Bonus points if you can include any form of metrics. They are more meaningful to the landing page visitor as they highlight a measurable change. Mistake number two is bunching all your testimonials together in a single landing page section. The strong testimonials will drown in that noise. We need to give them air. So start by positioning your best testimonial, ideally from someone your visitor recognizes, right above the fold. This social proof will reduce bounce rates and encourage your visitor to learn more by scrolling. Now ID what features your remaining testimonials mention and pair those within the page. Think how much more effective the testimonials will be when a visitor is learning about a feature and someone backs it up right then and there. So here is screenshot tool CleanshotX talking about the ease of saving, copying, dragging, dropping, and then just below it, a customer testimonial suggests the tool is like a Swiss army knife. Then any glowing testimonial about cost saving, value, or time saving can hang out at the pricing table as a confidence booster to use that credit card at that point. And finally, your remaining high quality testimonials can sit within its own page section, but I'd argue your page probably doesn't need it. Mistake number three is not highlighting your customer demographic below the testimonial. Try to handpick testimonials from a similar demographic to your landing page of visitor. Include a friendly image of them and even their company logo if possible. So if you're selling enterprise level support software, it's wise to create testimonials from customers who work for enterprise size businesses. See, this will give them the confidence others previously made the weighted decision they are about to. So based on what we've covered, this is a solid testimonial. Our team just loves how easy to use the software is and support response time improved by 22% in month one. Metrics, yes please. Now compare the testimonial by a blank avatar Dave Lewis to a friendly Dave Lewis who works at Starbucks as a VP of customer relations, a real person with a similar role as the landing page of visitor. Selling a baby carrier, let's include a testimonial from a smiley Sarah mom of two. Servicing coffee machines, let's include the logos of the other coffee chains you service. Remember, it's reassuring for your landing page visitor to know people just like them went all the way and are happy with the result. I'm confident if you focus on these main three tips, you will improve your landing page conversions. Let me know if you have any testimonial tips to add or what other landing page content you'd love to see from me. This is Rob from One Page Love, here to help you strengthen your landing pages. Happy building.